Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Sunday the 9th, <clears throat> and today was another lovely gorgeous day. It's pretty hot, very very warm day, but a little bit of rain here and there, not too bad. Um, just beautiful day though overall. So got up this morning, um, hurting like hell, my neck and my shoulders are just all kinds of dicked up. I'm not having much luck with getting that um, going in the morning. I can get better by the afternoon, the evening. I'm a little better off just getting things moving around. That laying still overnight is absolutely kicking my bass. So went ahead though, got up, um, kind of chilled out a little bit. Didn't really get in a big hurry to go do anything or anything like that. Just kind of took our time. We chilled out. Um, ended up having muffin for breakfast and that. Karen and I both had some muffins. We had some muffins we bought um, a while back at Sam's Club and completely forgot about them. We put them in the old microwave with the range top hood that doesn't work, whatever. So we just use it to store like muffins and donuts and cookies, whatever. And we found them. Karen found them there. We just put something else in there. So they're like five days, six days old before we even found them and they're still good. So that was cool. So we ate some of those, um, chilled out a little bit. I ended up um, contacting, actually I heard back from somebody. I went and looked at a uh, wind surfboard the other day and they were asking way too much money for it. And it was not in phenomenal shape. For the money they were asking, it should have been in pristine, 100% perfect condition. And maybe even they were asking a little bit much then. But I went and looked at it. Um, they had dropped their price a little bit and they contacted me, hey, if you're still looking, we dropped the price. If you're interested, um, whatnot. And I know they're in the process of moving and they don't want to try and take the mass. I don't know what the problem is. The mass is not long, you strap it on top of your car. But they acted like they were unable to take that. But I think they were selling everything off because they sold like six kayaks, they sold um, all kinds of stuff, like everything they owned, they sold. So um, not sure what's up with that. It sounds like they're going to go down and buy new stuff when they get there. So I'm thinking they're using this as an excuse to buy different stuff is what my guess is. I think they might have came in with a little bit of money and they're upgrading all their um, water sporting stuff. They're going down by the keys and they want to get better equipment, I think. So I went ahead and again, even at the lower price, I wasn't interested, but I threw them out at ridiculously low price. So I didn't even make an offer because this is what I'd be willing to give. And I thought it was an insult, so I wasn't going to do it. And she goes, let me ask my husband. I'll be right back to you. And like three minutes later, she says, yep, come pick it up. He'll take it. So I was like, shit, I really didn't expect you to say yes to that. So uh, we went over there. I told her I'd be there about noon, went over there and stuff, grabbed it from there, came back and um, contacted a guy about a couple of kayaks. He had a set on top, a big um, 14, like six, I think it's 14 foot, six inch long, set on top fishing kayak, holds like seven poles, all kinds of crazy stuff there. A um, couple years old, like three, four years old, not sure, actually five years old now, five years old, the 2012 model. I went ahead and I um, drove up Palm Coast, which is like an hour away, I called the guy, talked to him a little bit and stuff, drove up and looked at it, and he had that and a little 10 foot pelican, which is not worth nothing to me but it is what it is i took it just basically i'll find some use for it eventually but i uh, went ahead and made him an offer got there and they were not again i was not feeling super warm fuzzy i wasn't all excited about it i wasn't like hey this is my favorite kayak ever so i made him an offer that i knew i'd be all right with the price i could probably resell it if i use this as like a test model to see if i like the set on tops and stuff see if i like the fishing from a kayak kind of things so i haven't been fishing in years so i thought it'd be cheaper to spend by this one than buy a 2800 dollars fishing kayak, the one that I really fell in love with that I wanted, um, that would go that route. So made the guy an offer, he thought about it for a while, and he took it, and I ended up buying the two kayaks and the one sitting up paddle board for less money than what um, he was asking for just the uh, one kayak in the whole day. Actually less than they were asking for the damn um, sitting up paddle board, to be honest with you. So I bought one and got two free, depending on how you look at it. So. Went ahead, I was pretty happy with that. He was happy to get rid of them. Like he said, he'd had them for five years and he'd gotten a lot of use. Actually, the Pelican had a longer nap. The Pelican's what he started with to begin with and he went on to the uh, Malibu. So I ended up spending a bunch of money today, a lot of money today, but it is what it is. Had a great time. Um, Karen and I went up there together. We had a friend of ours by Palm Coast and they were outside of cell phone range. So they didn't get, realize we were coming up that way. So we didn't get to stop by and see them at all. But we had a good time. Um, came back, it was raining like hell on the way home. Um, wasn't too bad, but got back here, chilled out a little bit, watched a little bit of Netflix. Um, she didn't make another Blue Apron meal and was really good. Um, salmon meal, really, really good. She's really, I think, really enjoying the whole Blue Apron cooking thing. So I think that's pretty exciting. I'm going to get her a um, new pot or a new frying pan, actually, I think is what she wants. She wants a big uh, nonstick frying pan because the ones she's got are kind of junky. So we're going to try and upgrade to a much better pan go from there. Um, I gotta find out which one I want. I don't want to just go walk into Walmart and buy one. She's pointed at a couple that she'd be happy with. They're like 10 bucks. I'm like, a $10 pan is not gonna last long enough to make a worthwhile difference. So, gotta figure that out. But um, we had a good time. Ended up watching some Netflix, chilled out a little bit. I uh, went for my run, got my run done, which my shoulder and stuff's been, you know, just, it doesn't, I don't go far. I'm just trying to 
stay alive, I guess, basically is what I'm trying to do here. So I went ahead and got that taken care of. Went back in, watched a bunch more uh, Netflix, and just made it a lazy day, except for going and buying stuff. We didn't really do anything at all. So worked out well, and that's all I got for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.